Hey guys, what's going on? So in this video, I'm going to be going over how to place your pixels into ClickFunnels the right way, okay? Because there's a specific, a specific type of way you need to be placing your pixels so that they can track it and eventually you can do this for retargeting ads uh, and so on and so forth so you can just see who's going to certain pages. So uh, let's get started. So we're here on the business manager right now. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the top left and you're going to click on pixels, okay? Um, one of my ad accounts should be popping up. I gotta click on the right one, so I'll click on mine. Yours should go right to your account. I have multiple ad accounts, so. Okay, so what we're gonna do, once you guys get to this page, you might not see a graph because your, uh, your pixel page might be brand new, so if you don't see it, it's okay, don't, don't worry. Um, just go to the area where it says set up pixel at the top, you'll see it right here, and then what's gonna pop up is the copy and paste code. You probably have seen this when you first uh, actually made your pixel. So it's the same exact thing. Just click on copy and paste the code. And what's gonna happen, your base code's gonna pop up. So for right now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on copy code to clipboard. So copy it. Now you're gonna go over to ClickFunnels. Um, when you log into your ClickFunnels account, go to the funnel that has the, the thing that you need. So let's just say for, let's find one I'm not using. Let's say this one. Click on the funnel that you're using. Okay. And then when you get into the funnel, the old way. Now, here's the old way it used to be done. I just want to show you guys so you don't get confused when you see other videos and whatnot. They used to be able to place a head tracking code in here, but the problem is it doesn't separate the pages. It, it's pretty much like the main tracking code for everything which you don't really want, okay? Because you want to track individual pages, especially if you have in-depth funnels, you need to know who's getting to specific pages so that you know who to retarget, what to say in the retargeting ads, and that it doesn't sound like repetitive, especially when you're in this niche. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the page that you're gonna be using. So the very first page, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to edit page. It's gonna bring us inside the editor. All right, so what you're gonna do when you get to the page that you made, you're gonna to go to the top where it says settings, right here. You're gonna see all these codes. You're gonna see all these little words. You're gonna click on the third one from the top, tracking code, okay? Tracking code. Now, I already have mine in here, so I'm not gonna repaste it, but you're gonna take that link that you copied from Business Manager, you're gonna take this link, the one that you copied right here, you're gonna to go to here, and you're just gonna to go to the empty spot on number one, click it, and then paste. And then you just paste it, it will pop up right here. And guess what? This first page is done. Because this is the very main pixel, you don't have to really edit anything. This is the first one, so this is the page that you know people are gonna hit. So as soon as you paste it, guys, exit out, it saves it automatically, and then just here, click save. It'll just save it on ClickFunnels just for a double save, and then you're good, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back. Now, pay attention. This part is where it kind of gets a little bit more technical. Um, so just want to let you guys know ahead of time, really focus in right here because a lot of people will get lost like within a split second. So you're going to go to this page. Um, you're going to take the redirecting page, okay? And you're going to go into it. For those of you that don't know what a redirecting page is yet, go check out the following video. Um, the video is uh, about how to create a, redirect, a redirecting page and the purpose of it. So what you're going to do is go to the same thing, settings, you're going to click on tracking code again, all right? But I'm gonna do this one from scratch. So pretty much what you're gonna do, you're gonna delete the code, okay? You're gonna paste the regular code. So this is the initial code. Now, you're going to need to go back to this code right here. And instead of clicking on it again, you're gonna to go to the number two right here. Install event code. Okay, now what this does is now it's gonna let us track different parts. So when you guys start coming up with more complex um, funnels and different pages, you're gonna be able to start getting into more like research about it. So if, let's just say you create a payment page, right? Add payment info. What's gonna happen is people are gonna be, you're gonna be able to track who got to their payment, who added their payment method, but didn't finish who completed the registration, meaning they, they purchased, or who actually did purchase, meaning that the page that they pop up on, you're able to see who purchased. So if they got to the purchase page or and didn't follow through to the complete registration, you can go back to the guys that did the purchase and retarget them and be like, hey, you, you got the, all this stuff, you 
but you didn't finish it. Same thing with added the cart. They added all, they added your course, they added your program to the cart, but they didn't get to the registration page. So it's like, there's so many ways to go about it. Now I know a lot of you in here are affiliate marketers, uh, network marketers. So some of this stuff you won't even need to use. So that's why I just say what you're going to do instead of using recommended or advanced, you're going to go to basic. Okay. Now what basic's going to do is just a simple tiny code. See like, see how it says script script. And then the middle art, what happens when I click recommend it? It kind of gets bigger. So you can add values. This is for like e-commerce. This is for if you have your own course and you're trying to keep track of who's actually paying. So you know, the numbers and the percentages. Um, so you don't really have to worry about that. Um, especially with network marketers, there is another part in uh, my training or actually included in this course that comes with it. So, I'll be on the lookout for that basic. You're going to click on basic you're going to get the simple code. And because I just have a simple page right now, so I have two pages where it's just like the main page and a redirected page. Obviously there's going to be more in depth stuff and you'll get, you'll find out as you go along. Um, you're going to take the view content. Okay. It's like the second to most basic code behind the actual basic code that you use. So if you guys noticed, um, see, this is the very basic code. See how it says page view right here page view is the main pixel within the basic pixel. Okay. So this in the main pixel, that, that is like the main thing. Okay. What we are simply doing is taking this view content, right? We're taking the script, we're taking the view content. We copied it. And what we're doing is because this is a different page, we're going to put a different pixel. We're not changing the whole thing. We're changing one small little piece of it. And that's this right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to delete, where it said page view, you're gonna get rid of all of that. So for if you guys are on ClickFunnels, number 10, get rid of the number 10 line. And then you're gonna take that code that you just copied from your business manager and you're gonna paste it right there. Now, notice how there's now two scripts. See, this is the code. Notice how there's a script here and there's a script here. Now these ones came with this code. Now because there's a script here already and a script up here, you don't need these. What these scripts mean is with, it's pretty much saying this, this whole thing right here is a separate pixel within the entirety of this pixel because everything within the script down to this bottom script that's highlighted in blue is one big pixel. You're saying that within this one big pixel, there's another small pixel and there's a problem with that. Your business manager can't track it like this. Everything needs to be within the two main scripts. If you have more than one script inside, these words script here, script here, script, script, you have more than two, you're messing up the pixel and it's never, it's not going to read correctly. So simply, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to the number 12 script, delete it all the way till you get to the very beginning, click it one more time, and now you should be up here. Next. Take the script at number 10 now, delete that script, gone. All you should have is number two script left and the number 11. Now these numbers don't mean anything, they're not significant, it's just to keep track of the rows. I just use them for methods to help you guys, you know, call out which one is gonna be good. But now that we have the main scripts uh, activated, everything's in, it is now going to read this entire pixel as a view content pixel. So now you'll be able to see who's getting to specific pages. You have the first pixel on the first page, it is tracking page view. Now that you have view content on this page, it is tracking view content. So when you look at the whole entirety of who's clicking on certain pages, you'll be able to tell. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how. So after you put it in, you save, you click save, and then you go back to this, okay? Now notice right here, see how these marks are going up? These are pixel files. This is an old account. I haven't touched it. I haven't really used it today or not even today. Like I have been using it. I've been really focusing on getting other projects started. But if you notice here on July 8th, I had 35 pixel fires, meaning 35 pixel fires combined of people hitting my pages and getting to certain uh, parts in the funnel. So now I could see, okay, page view. I had 28 people or 28 pixel fires go off on that page letting me know, hey, 28 people got to that first page, but only seven got to the next. So what does that mean? That means my, I need to increase something. I need to change something. Now, that's not always a good thing, right? If I had seven people get to my redirecting page, that means seven people got to my final offer. 
Okay, so there's there's ways of looking at this. You can look at the links, the URLs, what URLs they're getting to, uh, to keep track of everything. So like these are the pages that they've gotten to that actually have those pixels that I just placed on there. So this is how you like uh, check everything off. You should be good at that. But guys, that's how you enter in your pixels um, with ClickFunnels. It's very very simple. Um, the the process is. I guess you could say it's somewhat tedious, but it's all muscle memory. Just really, if you got confused, please go back, rewatch it, and it, until it clicks. This is a very simple process. So, thanks for having on, guys. Have a good one.